Hey everyone, Teresa Mattis here. Today I'm going to show you how to use the basics of Adobe Media Encoder CC. This program is a transcoding and rendering program that will help you encode audio and video in a variety of different formats. So let's get started. Say you're ready to export your file from Premiere Pro CC or After Effects CC, for example. Save the file within the program you're editing on and close the program. Then go ahead and open Adobe Media Encoder CC. So now you can see that you have four different sections within Encoder. The only panels I choose to constantly use when exporting through Encoder are the queue and the encoding panels on the left. You can feel free to set presets in the panel in the upper right or watch folders in the bottom left, but honestly, I don't usually bother using them. First, you're going to want to import your project file that you wish to export from. Double click in the queue panel, find your project, and click open. If you have multiple sequences within your project file, you'll be prompted to select which sequence you wish to export. From here, you can go in to change the format, preset, output location, and name of your video or audio file. If you open the export settings, a window will pop up with all of your exporting options. Go through, choose your format and preset, and then tweak your export settings until they're set to what you'd like. I usually export my video files as an H.264 format with a high bitrate. I can go in to change the bitrate settings in the video tab and change more advanced settings within the effects, audio, multiplexer, captions, and publish tabs if I'd like. When exporting an audio file, I recommend exporting to a waveform audio format. H.264 and WAV files are usually the two highest quality formats for your audio and video exports that transcode and render with ample file information. In this window, you can also go through and drag these icons to shorten or lengthen the amount of sequence you'd like to export. Once you're happy with your export settings, click OK. Your preset will update accordingly to match the settings you chose within the export settings window. Now, all that's left is to select your output file name, format, and location. Save your file wherever and however you'd like, then click save. Once you're done with this, you're ready to export your file. Click the green play button in the upper right hand corner of the queue panel. This will begin encoding your file, and you'll see this working in the bottom encoding panel. Once your file has exported, you can either close encoder and search for it wherever you saved it on your computer, or you can simply click the output file within encoder and it'll open your exported file accordingly. All right, that pretty much sums up the basics of Adobe Media Encoder CC. If you have any questions or comments, please let me know. If you haven't already, be sure to check out my official website, www.teresamattis.com, and my consulting website, www.teresamattisconsulting.com. I'll include links to both sites in the description box below. See you next time, and thanks for being awesome!